What is up guys, how's it going? My name is Jackal, and welcome back. You see the name of the video and the channel. Actually, what am I saying welcome back for? Chances are, if you found this, you're probably not subscribed, so you should be. Because uh, we got all the old goodies coming in. <coughs> We're about to do a training session, a grind session on Final Fantasy 2. Bro, I will need you guys around. Ouch. I don't need you around, but you can fuck off. Like Soul Blazer, take advantage of those hitboxes. Defense out. Oh, we learned a new song. Let's turn this up a little bit. The wind in the valley plays a melody. The statue seems to be singing. Okay, there we go. You've learned the melody of the wind. No? Oh, that's it? Okay, cool. You know, I only now noticed after... Th I mean, I'm 32. This game has been in my life almost... Almost all of it. My grandfather got this game when I was, you know... He probably got this game around when it was released. Let me Let me check real quick. I'm curious. What is this thing's percentage at to? Which would be fine for both this and One Piece. Um, let's check out Illusion of Gaia North. Ye least date. There you go. September 1st, 1994. So I was just a month away from turning four years old when this game came out. And I feel like this has been in my life ever since. Fuck you, you don't give me anything. Oh, you know, all the enemies that I'm going to need to kill are down below here. Did I check that skeleton to see what cryptic thing it says oh yeah it's the gold statue yeah he wanted to move the gold statue but uh the gold statue moved him give me that oh you're a dick how dare you Gimme, gimme, gimme. Two more enemies in here. Yeah, my grandfather got this like either on release or pretty close to it. Because this game has really been a part of my life for as long as I can remember. Now these ones, there's a reason to kill. Take advantage of these hitboxes where I can just hit him in a way where he can't. This doesn't always work when you're getting attacked from multiple angles, but when it's only one, you take advantage of what you can. Get the fuck out of here. Mm. Yeah, that's an HP one. See, when I was a kid, this used to confuse me the way that the way that these looked, just because of the perspective. But it's like obviously it's just a hill, just this way. But just the way that you jump over it, it always looked kind of weird. But you know, you can do it in both directions. So now that I'm older, like that, it makes more sense. Visually, that didn't make sense when I was a kid. But yeah, no, in uh, 
Final Fantasy 2, we've run ourselves into a little bit of a problem. So I think I'm going to have to do some grinding, which I'm not fond of. So we're going to have to find some things to talk about. Because if you ever look at like the oldest, some of them have been edited, edited since, so they're not always at the bottom. But if you look at like my oldest playlists and stuff, they're called Loose Plays, which, you know was mainly due to the fact that, you know, I started off playing, like, the original Final Fantasy and shit. So it was like, listen, if I because that game requires grinding. Final Fantasy 2, I've managed to basically get through most of the game without grinding, really, at all. Ooh. What did I miss? You take advantage of that box. Oh shit. An herb. Alright. Freedom being stronger is always so nice. Strength up. Yes. But yeah, I know if I have to... What's up here again? If I have to suffer through grinding, then you have to deal with it as well. This one was... Gotcha. I'm probably not going to do the end of this because uh, the next time I play this game, it is going to be a pretty long session because there is a pretty long, there's a pretty long section in the game coming up where you really don't get, where you don't get time to save and shit until it is all over. Which is, it's not bad, but doesn't make good for a longer video. So I'm hoping this dungeon takes me a little longer. But it hasn't even been 10 minutes, so I'm not exactly feeling too good about its length here. Maybe I'll run less. That's a good solution. Okay, ready? Let's go. Ooh, I almost got through that hole jumping without getting hit. Wait. I could have sworn there were enemies there. I was correct. Ow. Nope, gotta go back. Running in this game is so second nature. Chum. Only four more things to kill? We got it. Excuse you. Ah. Eat their heart to gain their strength. This is what it... Bro, we're already at the end. God damn, dude. That sucks. That really sucks. Because this is not very long here. There's some kind of journal. Note about the Incas. They have no written language. They've left their language and sounds. I have succeeded in deciphering the ink and melody of the winds. Chant in the golden room. Does that mean to play the melody of the... Of course it does. What are you, an idiot? Get rid of them all. 
Ooh, red jewel. Get rid of this bitch. I believe that's like, what, number eight? Something like that. I know there's an important one that I have to get on the golden ship next time I play. Because if you do not get it, then you will not be able to get it. Oh, shit. Won't be able to get it after. Actually, that's the same thing for a lot of shit in this game. There's a lot of shit that once you pass it up, you can't do it again. Ooh, that's a bummer. No one can turn back into Will, because Will is the only one who can play those tunes. Oh, God damn it. I was trying to do that one-handed. It didn't work. Just bat on the floor of my garage here. Tur return to young Will. Like a proper adult, it takes Freeman a second to fucking kneel down and do his own anime pose. Yeah, when I was a kid, it was funny because this, this game, and I mean, I'll tell the story now because unfortunately we need to pad out this video because um, I think what I might do is just kill the boss, but then since there's nothing to do, since there's no way for you to... Yeah, there's no way for me to, there's no safe. You have to do the golden ship and then it gets destroyed. Yeah, it gets destroyed and then it gets destroyed. Then you're afloat and then you have to do the whole thing. Yeah, no, that's such a long part of the game. That's such annoying shit. But when I was a kid, um... The second boss in this game is notoriously easy. It's called the Viper. It's just a giant ass bird. And, uh, the, um, look, okay, we'll just eat two of these just because it's not like I ever need them. Let's make my items look pretty. We have my two songs. Have consumables at the bottom. I don't know why we keep on that key. I know why we get when we get rid of the. Yeah, it won't let me discard it. Why would we even need that key? That's weird. But the second boss in this game is known for being, like, notoriously easy. And for some reason, my grandfather could not beat it. I don't know why. Maybe it's he didn't think he could, like, block the feathers that it shoots at you. I don't know what was his deal with why he couldn't... The so he softly played the wind melody. For whatever reason, though, my grandfather could not beat the second boss in this game. And, you know, at the time, I mean, clearly, I'm probably just past four years old at this point. And, you know, giving, you know, if I'm estimating, you know, just with all the other games my grandfather played, let's just say it was a month after the game came out. So I'm just past four. And he is having a... There's the glowing one. I don't know what to do here. I always just spin this. Um, for some reason, my grandfather just couldn't beat him. And I had been watching him. And he had been fighting him for, like I think, like a whole night. And wasn't able to beat him. 
And then the next day I was over. So he... Um... Set the Inca statue A on the mantle. Cool. Oh, I can't access menu while I'm on the ladder. Interesting. Set the Inca statue on mantle B. Because if you notice, this is an area where your hair doesn't blow. Oh, well, now it does. Now that sound was the wind. Um, I'm actually interested. I... Oh, huh, what does he say? I am Gaia, the source of all life. I'll give you some advice. I think it means there, not then. Then you will fight a huge enemy. There you will fight a huge enemy. If he suffers damage, rays of light will shoot from his head. If you suffer damage, behind, hide behind him. Cool, we've saved. I'm actually interested. I can't remember if you can actually beat this boss with uh, free with Will or not. You're supposed to stop actually on the square, but I ran past it. And then it allows you to go back around. I don't know why it gives you that option. He's gonna turn around. Alright, we're gonna reset the game regardless of what happens here. I'm just actually curious if you can beat him with Will. Alright, well we made one hand go away. God damn it. When he does this, you just hide in the corner. Okay. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh, yeah, don't you dare. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten, gotten rid of those uh, herbs if I was going to be doing it like this. You don't have to move, but I like moving. Uh, I never noticed that you could actually get both hands to interact independently. I've also never tried, because usually I'm doing this with freedom, so... By comparison, it's usually a fucking massacre. That bouncing shit is, like, the only real danger of this whole fucking fight. Now I'm actually ready to just see if I can actually... Ooh, shit. If I can actually just do this. Especially because I fucked up and got rid of all my herbs like an idiot, because I didn't... I wasn't doing this expecting to do this challenge with myself here. Where you go in the corner, you can hide from that thing as well. Ooh, fuck you though. Don't do don't do that. I can just bounce off his hands and have him not do any real damage to me when he swings it. God damn it, dude. I basically have to do this whole next part without getting hit one time.
Oh, we didn't do that correctly, did we, folks? Fuck yeah, let's go! Let's go! No can defend. No can touch me either. That was actually super cool. That was super cool indeed. Um, too bad I want to actually leave though. Alright, well we're just going to restart it. Because I don't... I saved my game. Everything should be good still. But you know, I just want to have that shit on full. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, no, I remember pissing my grandfather off. Because, you know, he couldn't beat the second boss of this game forever. And I come in, ask him to play, and I end up beating the boss on my first attempt. Which, um, is not something that I was not unknown to do, especially in my younger age. I would definitely, I would frequently have my cousins come over with the game and be like, I can't beat this guy, can you help me? And I could have never played the game before in my life. And I'd usually end up doing it. That's how I got into, uh... Kingdom Hearts for the very first time. I was maybe like 12, 13. The game had been out maybe for like a year. And, you know, I had seen it in magazines. And as a teenager, it looked pretty cool. Especially because, you know, I loved Squaresoft games. So you got all the fucking Squaresoft shit in there. You know, that was a huge draw for me when I was younger. And I remember um, the... Uh, Let's record, and we'll put, do not continue. But, um, I had a friend of mine who was, he was a friend of the family that we met through a bowling league that I did as a young kid. And, uh, the son of the family that my parents became friends with, he was like four years younger than me. So he was like eight or nine, and he came over one night. And he was like, I can't beat this boss. Can you help me? And it was, uh, what was it? Um, uh, it was the Guana Chameleon? Chameleon in the Tarzan world. It was the boss of that place. And he wasn't able to beat it. And sure enough, I pick up the game. And I just kind of learned the mechanics real quick. See how the menu and shit works. And, um, I think I may have died once, just, like, trying to figure it out, and then I was like, okay, okay, hold on, I got this now. And then I think I just right away, next time, boom, beat him, no problem. And, uh, yeah, I'm known to do that to people, and a lot of people would find it kind of frustrating. You know, especially with, like, you know, now my, my secondary partner, you know, she'll be playing a Yoshi game, and bro, I cannot watch her play video games, like, it's cute, it's adorable, um, honestly, like, the Yoshi, the new Yoshi, the yarn, war the, like, craft world one, bruh, if I were to take certain substances, that game would be visually delectable, um, actually, all the Yoshi games have, like, their own little unique art style that would actually make them all really fun to play, like that, you know what I'm saying, but, um, no, watching her play through, like, a Yoshi game, it's like pulling teeth, bro. And she'll look at me, and she'll be like, you can't play. Because she knows if I play, she'll know I'll just walk through whatever it is in the game. Especially a Yoshi game, like, you know, you know how it is. But yeah, that's it for the day, guys. A uh, short video, we had to kind of pad it out, but, you know, uh, I didn't know what else to do. You know, there was, uh, there was, uh... There wasn't much left to do. This dungeon is pretty small, and I thought it would take me a little bit longer, but uh, it turns out, even after not playing this game for, like, at least more than 10 years, turns out I'm uh, still really good at it. So, you know, what are you going to do? But, uh, yeah, until next time, guys, I'll beat that boss again to start off. So we'll get to start off with some juiciness before we get to the um, 
not slog because it's an enjoyable part of the game, but it's just, it is long. But uh, yeah, we'll be back for that. Uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after. We'll see. Till then, guys. Peace.